Welcome back to DZTV. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Denver Zoo's commitment to conservation goes far beyond our 86 acres here in Denver. In fact, two Denver Zoo staff members just got back from Madagascar, where they were helping treat an unprecedented amount of radiated tortoises that have been confiscated by poachers, building facilities where they'll heal and treating them for disease. Check out this week's edition of Stories from the Field. It was the first pen I walked into and there was there was a pen of 2,000 tortoises and just seeing those 2,000 tortoises for the first time again it just it's you can't prepare for it because you don't know you basically don't know what you're looking at. Tropical discovery keeper Max Maloney knows tortoises. In fact they're his passion but even he was shocked by the sight of thousands of radiated tortoises in Madagascar. They're under every bush, they're around every corner. And... Maloney and Sean Ploisa, a member of Denver Zoo's carpentry team, went to Madagascar in May to help the Turtle Survival Alliance handle the 10,000 tortoises that had been rescued from poachers. They're most likely going to be shipped out to Southeast Asia for the food uh, trade. Vice President for Animal Sciences Brian Acone says the TSA reached out to Denver Zoo and other AZA accredited zoos for help managing rescued tortoises. We should try and help here if we can. Maloney and Ploisa packed their bags and made the 10,000 mile trip. Maloney says he spent time helping treat the tortoises who were facing serious health issues after being abandoned in a home. Dehydration, lots of disease transfer, um, and just malnutrition in general. So those were the big hurdles that the TSA is trying to clear right now. Despite the conditions, Maloney says the prognosis for the tortoises was better than he expected. It's incredible how well, out of 10,000 tortoises, how well the vast majority of them are doing. But medical checks were only part of the work to be done. So there was a lot of, a lot of actual manual labor going on in there. Uh, built the vet clinic, food storage, and food prep building, as well as the perimeter fence, which was a four-foot rock wall. Which is why volunteers like Ploisa were critical to the efforts. And so with all of his expertise in construction and carpentry, we really got that building up quite quickly and they really looked to him to lead that project, which was awesome. Maloney and Ploisa are back in Denver, but they say the experience was unforgettable. And they're grateful to Denver Zoo for the life-changing opportunity. Yeah, I think it shows a lot that this zoo backed both of us for this trip and wanted to help this cause. And knowing that we work for a zoo like that is makes it all worth it, essentially. The goal is to release the tortoises back into their natural habitat in southern Madagascar once they're healthy. For more stories from the field, make sure you subscribe to Denver Zoo's YouTube page. For DZTV, I'm Carly McGuire.